What an amazing week. The channel has just broken 1,000 subs. I never imagined that I would get to a number like this. I thank you all so, so much for your continued support and the many comments and words of encouragement you have left on the channel. I must say reading them is something I really enjoy. Many of you have been here from the start and watched some, well, let's say awful videos. I hope my content has and will continue to improve. So after much consideration and a few requests for a face reveal, I decided to keep that mystery going until the next milestone and instead talk about why I chose to cover the subjects I do on this channel. These are the strange events of my life that have in part kindled my interest into the strange and unusual. Welcome to IF, videos on mystery and history. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to never miss a video again. My first odd experience was a long time ago now. I hope my memory serves me well. I grew up in your average family home. This house was a typical brick house built after World War II. One thing that was quite unique to the area were the ruins of an old church behind the houses. These ruins were fenced off by some old Victorian railings. These were rusting and had green paint flanking from the bars. The church itself was made from heavetry stone, a coarse red rock which crumbles easily. The tumble down walls were covered in thick growth brambles and nettles and all types of other nasty weeds grew wild. My bedroom being at the back of the house overlooked this derelict place of worship. I always had a sense of unease when looking at the place and would try to avoid walking past it as much as possible. This became especially important after one night when looking out of my bedroom window I noticed something strange in the overgrowth. It looked like a man but a man who was dressed in a hooded dark robe and was strangely wearing a white hood beneath this covering his face. Seeing this really spooked me and I moved back from the window. Curiosity did however get the better of me and I peeked out of the window once again but this time there was no one or nothing there to see. Was this a ghost or just someone hanging out in the ruins? I don't know. This did however turn my mind onto all things strange and paranormal and from that point my friends and I would rush to the school library whenever a book on the subject came in. Another story which is somewhat strange and is cryptid related occurring when I was a little older. I was walking with my mother along the local canal. On one of these little spells of freedom I approached the walled edge of the canal. This is when I saw a strange fish. This fish was just floating at the top of the water resting its big body against the canal wall. I remember it vividly, two or three meters long with bright bluish with hints of green scales. It had a hook like mouth with sharp jagged teeth. Again similar to the possible ghost I saw, this creature disappeared as quickly as it was seen. Two other strange occurrences that still have me questioning about those days happened when I was a teenager. I once saw mysterious lights in the sky. A group of orbs in a triangle configuration were seen flying across my city on one October evening. I was one of many lucky enough to see them. Looking like glowing yolks of an egg, these lights stayed an equal distance from one another as they flew. The shape or form resembling a triangle, although the outside housing of the lights couldn't be made out. The UFO slowly cruised through the sky before disappearing over the horizon, reappearing in the local newspaper the next day as the city went UFO crazy. To this day there has never been an explanation as to what was in the skies that night. My last strange experience occurred when I was a teenager. A friend of mine had invited a group of us to stay at his house for the weekend. His home is a very old cottage with a history of haunted happenings. It has even been included in a few books on the paranormal. 
So we were all hanging out, doing regular teenager stuff, when we got talking about the housing, history, and the white lady that is said to haunt the place. This is where my friend who lived at the house went on to tell us that the room we were in had once had someone die in it. As the story went on, two others and I felt something grab us around the waist and pull us back toward the wall. We freaked out and ran out of the room. No one went back in there for the rest of the weekend. So those are my kind of odd and strange and paranormal experiences. I would love to hear if you guys have had strange experiences or anything similar to my own. If you have, please put them in the comments below. Or if they could be made into a video, send them in a private message and we can chat about it. Once again, thank you so much for getting the channel past that 1k milestone. It's time for me to get to work and find some more interesting stories for you guys. As normal, please like, share and subscribe, all that good stuff. See you next time.